Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Go Eevee, where, you know, we're out in the water, and as sad as it, as it is that there is no bikini or bathing suit that we can wear, we could at least wear something that is, you know, water-based. So let me, uh, let me just flip over to my Vaporeon outfit here. I still would, I still wish that, um, there was. Those are Jolteon shoes, not Vaporeon shoes. Do still wish that there was a, uh, I mean, keep the bag, just because you need to have the bag. Um, clothes and Vaporeon tea. There we go. And I don't think, yeah, I don't want to change these. And Evie needs her sunglasses. Sadly, there's no sunglasses for me to wear. <coughs> Yay! Now we're in a good water outfit. I wish there was a bathing suit, but oh well. I guess we can't all be Pokemon X and Y, which to my knowledge is really the only one that had I don't think it had a bathing suit as much as it did just have a skimpy enough outfit that you could call it a bathing suit. There. I really have no idea how to throw diagonally. But it seems like if I spin the controller, it goes in the direction I want most of the time. Not all the time, just most of the time. Do I have the wrong... Hang on. No, okay. Four thousand more experience. That feels like it hasn't done any leveling during that gym fight. Yeah, whatever. You know what I do have? I have a rare candy. I'm just gonna use that. Cause it's still got a long ways to go before it'll evolve. Wait, it's evolving! Honestly, if I didn't have to level it so much to get caught up with my other Pokemon, I think I would put Rapidash in my team instead. But, that's alright. But now that we have Rapidash, we have to name it. And there's only one name that works the best with Rapidash. As soon as I learn uh, Fury Attack here. Instead of agility. One, two, and ta-da! Got agility and learn fury attack. There's only one name that fits a Rapidash. Change name. Twelve. I'm going to have to do this the same way I did in... Um, fire red then. There. Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> Gotta have our uh, Twilight Sparkle Rapidash. So. Gotta have it. Um, alright, I need to, <sighs> I guess I want to keep Twilight in the party for now, um, just because Radicate is still really, like, high level compared, oh, I bet I had the wrong Panita, yep, I had the wrong Panita, that's what it was. This is the one I leveled from level 38. 
and I ended up grabbing a different panita. Oh well. Pokemon box. Let's go ahead and sort by Pokedex number so that we can see duplicates. And then let's enter the send to professor mode. Because apparently you have to click on it that way in order to get into this mode. Doesn't seem to be any other method of getting into the send to professor mode. Um, I guess that's just those three that I need to send off. I'm not seeing any other duplicates, aside from obviously Ratty and Raticate. Um, I guess Pidgey and Pidgeotto here. Uh, if I leveled Pidgeotto, I could get it to level 37 and get it to evolve. It's at level 36, so it can literally just needs to level to evolve at this point. So let me go ahead and send off some stuff. Got Mighty Candies and Quick Candies. I've been seven Pokemon so far. I have been sending so few Pokemon to them. It's kind of ridiculous, to be honest. I just haven't needed to catch Pokemon. There's just been enough trainers. Ahoy there! These waters are treacherous! I don't know why I have a pirate voice. So I'm Axel. Pikachu! Thunderbolt! Get wrecked. I mean, what did you expect was gonna happen? <laughs> oh, dangerous! Just gotta find all the. Hi, Magikarp! Do I really wanna catch a wild Magikarp? Okay, well, it didn't work that time. I tried just spinning the controller. It didn't work that time. Well, I guess I caught a Magikarp. It's probably much higher level than my current one. Not that that's a very good thing, to be honest. Honestly, because it kind of needs to be lower level to actually learn anything as a Gyarados. Hi! I tried diving for Pokemon from the sea, but it was a no-go. So remember David. <clears throat> Is that Seal? Seal could give me some issues, because it's not just a water type, it's also an, elect uh, an ice type. So that could be problematic. Then again, it could also not be. Let's send out Seedra. Alright. <coughs> Hmm. Get wrecked. Yeah, this is gonna be easy. P. This is gonna be easy pickings. Just because water versus electric, all the way through. I actually have to see if there's some way to give it more. Um. PP. Not PP, but like another electric move. Because <laughs> I'm probably going to be using, probably going to use up both Thunder Punch and Thunderbolt just getting to Seafoam Islands, let alone through it into Cinnabar Island. Help! Help! I swam here with my friends. I'm tired. 
I wish I could get their bathing suit as an outfit, though. It's a nice bathing suit, you know? Heck, I'd wear it in real life. <laughs> it's super cute. Thunderbolt. can't even remember the last time I actually wore a bathing suit of any kind. Honestly. Like, I, I don't know that I've done any swimming in years. I mean, I've never gone swimming anyway. But I don't know that I've gone to a pool or anything and just relaxed in the pool or anything. I actually don't know how to swim. I have no idea how to swim. I'm exhausted. Don't get too exhausted. You still gotta swim all the way back to land. Route 20. What's beyond the horizon? It is too bad though that you can't just swim yourself. Like you have to have a swimming move. It's like there's all these swimmers, but you can't, they, you know, the, they don't have, or you can't swim, but they can, you know? It's a little sad, just saying. Another bolt. Get wrecked. <laughs> critical hit. Four times damage, critical hit. He had no hope. No land in sight. I mean, maybe not actual land, but there's all these rocks you could just quick climb up to, relax for a moment, and then go swimming again. Wow, you're riding on the water. Could be you can't swim. I actually cannot, no. Though I act actually that does bring up a question about whether or not the trainer can. I mean, she is only 11, but I feel like most people have learned to swim by the time, well, the, you know, when they're 11. So, he's disabled. Disabled Thunderbolt. That's fine, I was planning to use Thunder Punch next turn anyway. Get wrecked. Venusoid grew to level 47. Let's send out Gyarados. You have no hope. I hope you realize this. Thunder Punch. Four times damage. <laughs> I hope you realized you had no hope there. Ouch! Torpedoed! Sometimes I just wish, like, the trainers in this game would just be like, the, when they've just got, like, Gyarados or something, and you've got, you know, Pikachu out. And it's just like, yeah, no, never mind. <laughs> the Seafoam Islands are quiet getaway. I'm vacationing here. Are they also, like, freezing cold, though? Because, you know, Articuno? Excuse me. My goodness. Thunder Bunch. Why? <laughs> She's like, oh no, an electric type Pokemon. I have to use Protect to protect my War Turtle. Get wrecked. Get out of here with that Protect crap. And the War Turtle and the War Turtle crap too. Get out of here with that. Ooh, Starmie. Now that. I'll accept. Starmie's cool. They can't hold up against a Thunder Punch! 
I guess it can. Use hard and... Somebody's defense throws. I mean, I could have just thunder punched it again, but... I wanted her to understand the futility of using heart and... When you're facing off against Pikachu. Quit it! Get wrecked. Hello, Magikarp. Kerp, 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 kerp. I love that even the overworld, like, model of Magikarp is, like, him flopping around as if he's out of water. It's great. You know, it's just being like, coop, coop, coop. Like, you would think, oh, Magikarp would be swimming like all the other Pokemon. No, it's flopping around on the top of the water. It doesn't know how to swim. I love it. Like, it, it's so funny. I freaking love it. Like, look at this. <laughs> look at this crap. Like, what the heck? Really? Like, you're a fish! <laughs> I love it! I really do. No. Do not give up. I just wanted to switch to a regular Pokeball. I have 272 of them. And your stupid Magikarp. Like, honestly, it's just a Magikarp. I should be able to catch it, right? And just a stupid Pokeball? You'd think. But then that's apparently not what happens. I mean, I got 272 of these left to burn, buddy. So I'm... I've got all day to just sit here and keep chucking Pokeballs. There we go. I don't see a reason for using an Ultra Ball or something when I'm just going to be sending it to the professor, you know? Let's see. Hi! See, like all of the other Pokemon have a swimming in the water animation and then there's Magikarp that is such a fish out of water that even in water it's a fish out of water <laughs> oh my god I love it Sure would be nice if it just got in the stupid ball. There we go. <coughs> Got Gyarados. New Pokemon. And Shellshocker leveled up. Shellshocker's gonna evolve. Why not? We got a Gyarados. Cool. <laughs> it's Magikarp. Like, it's just it's just Magikarp though. Ah, <sighs> what can you do? Just catch it, really. It's really all you can do. So at this point, I don't have to keep any of my Magikarps. Because I don't have to evolve a Magikarp anymore. I can just send all of the Magikarps to um, the Professor. I could sit here and grind on Magikarps. I've got 200 and some odd freaking Pokeballs. And then not... Graceful Cat. And they're not hard. To catch. 
because they're Magikarps. And the hardest part about Magikarp is when it decides to move off to the side like that. And that's just annoying. It's not even hard. Hey, hey, hey. Magikarp. Alright, hang on. I gotta... Actually, I think I have to grab the other one for that. Yeah, I have to grab the other controller for that. Hang on. Uh, there, I want to do something here. But I needed the other controller to do it. But I gotta do some. Gotta get this stupid Pokeball to go forwards first. Wow! I gotta turn on the other controller. Uh, yeah, I gotta come up to the Magikarp here. Capture taken. Something like that. Now that I've done that, let's see. Uh, album. I wanna see if I can do this. Cause I know that there's like an edit button. Um. No, I think it's just adding text. Okay, never mind. I was gonna try to crop out, you know, crop just the uh, the Magikarp, and post something that says something like, "Hey, you know, Magikarp is Magikarp is stupid." Oh, it's your friendly pushing deliveries. Uh, delivery. Yeah, I missed that. No need to pay. I hope you can. Continue. Bleh. I hope you. We. Oh my god. I can read. We hope you continue your support of your neighborhood Pokemart. Uh, okay. What did you just give me? I have no idea what she just gave me. I actually have no idea what she just gave me. It's just more like hyper potions. Potions are some of the best items to have on hand. Wouldn't you agree? I'm so confused. What did she give me? I don't see any potions. She didn't give me any like regular potions. Maybe she just gave me more hyper potions. Maybe. I don't know. Whatever. All right. Well, Seafoam Islands. Um, I guess we'll handle the uh, the Seafoam Islands here in the next episode. So I do hope you've enjoyed. If you have, feel free to subscribe. Check the video description down below for a link to the playlist, so that you can get caught up on any of the episodes you might have missed. And I'll see you all next time. See you later. Oh, and first. Yep. That's what I was hoping. Whoa! Random encounter? Random encounter not on the screen. Wild Pokemon did not should not did not appear there. It was just a random encounter. Alright, 
I'll see you guys next time.